Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends or TFT video or whatever. Now, the second this video is out, it should be uh, released essentially publicly, right? This game mode. Now, I want to go for this pike. This pike is looking hella juicy. Give me that. Give me that pike, baby. So, TFT is out, right? Everyone can play it, or at least almost everyone can play it. I know NA and EU and all that, uh, all you guys should be able to play it by now when this video is out. Anyways, the point of this video is to make it like a guide tutorial type uh, video, right? Because it's new, it's a new game mode. If you have never played auto chess before, you might be wondering like literally what is going on in this. So I want to try to make this gameplay kind of very, very informational, if you will, very, very kind of tutorial esque, right? So I'm going to be explaining what I'm doing, what I'm looking for, things you should be paying attention to, etc. Also, there's a cheat sheet made by Scara, which I recommend you check out. I will link it down below, but uh, two cheat sheets. One is for all the origins and the classes. One is for all of the item combinations, which I actually still use because there's a lot of item combinations. There's a lot to remember. So. The pike, if I give him this, will do static shift. I don't really think static shift is all that good, so we're not going to build that just yet. But anyways, so let's go over what the game mode is and how to play it. Things to kind of remember, pay attention to, watch out for, blah, 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 right? So number one, in the first carousel round you saw, you pick a unit. Usually, you pick a unit that you think is good, maybe has a good item on them or something like that. Now, whether or not they have a good item on them usually comes down to experience, but Recurve both pretty good. I think Blasting One and BF Sword are all uh, pretty good starting items. And then it comes down to just the character that you think, or the class, or the kind of composition the synergy that you want to play right again don't forget the goal of this game is to create a synergy comp or a comp that has synergy if that makes any sense you can mouse over these things that'll tell you what you currently have on the field blah 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 right so i pick pike first what is he he's a pirate and he's an assassin so that means that i probably should have took the graves now i went for garen only because i just think garen is really good um I'm, I, my, my main goal is me going for assassins i want to go assassins i wish i could sell garen right now and just uh, I actually kind of regret not taking this guy because he is a pirate as well. So two pirates already would have been pretty good, even though you need, I believe, yeah, you only need three pirates too, which isn't too bad. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this. Go ahead and get this. See, so yeah, that's actually not bad. Go ahead and put the Kha'Zix in. Put them right here. The Garen's there. And you know what? Just for the sake of it, I want to buy also uh, the Nidalee. Now, the reason I bought Nidalee, I'll explain. So the first few rounds, at least for the first maybe like five, six, seven-ish rounds, you want to pretty much spend all your gold. The reason for that is because, number one, you can sell any unit and pretty much get back 100% of the gold you spent on that unit, so you don't really lose anything. Option two, or rather reason two, is because at the very beginning of the game, we're at the stage we're at right now, we don't really know what composition we're going for. Like, sure, when I come into the into this game, I might be having something in my head where, like, okay, well, I want to go Assassins and maybe Void or Ninja or something like that, right? I'll have a comp in my head that I'm kind of looking for. But based on the RNG, you might not always get the characters to select from to actually give you the comp that you actually want, right? That's very much a possibility. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, ooh, we've got a Cosmos upgrade. We get this as well. Uh, that's actually not too bad. I want to go ahead and remove the Garen, and we're going to put in the Zed for triple assassins, right? So now you can see I have one ninja. For ninja, what do you have? Well, plus 40% AD if they're the only ninja. Zed is the only ninja. As you can see, right click, ninja only. This guy is an assassin, but a void. This guy's an assassin pirate, right? And assassins, well, now they do extra damage on their crits, which assassins do crit quite often, which is obviously pretty damn good. Um, I'll have to get the Tristana as well, just in case. Now, the reason I'm getting Tristana, eventually this comes to experience. You have an idea of what characters are what. I'm getting Tristana because if I end up going Pirate as well, well, Graves is part of that. And Graves is also a Gunslinger. You only need two Gunslingers to proc their passive or like their effect or their synergy, which is that right there. So maybe that'll work out very well for me. Now, this guy's actually level four. He upgraded, which I didn't. But I think I still beat him, which is pre pretty good. Now, I actually don't recommend upgrading early, uh, that early. I don't think it's worth it because he upgraded, he wasted gold on that, and he still ended up losing. Which is something to, which is not really ideal in my opinion. Um, so one thing to do is uh, not to do that early, in my opinion. Don't level up early. But when it comes to leveling up and re-rolling, right? What you want to do is almost always leveling up is more important than re-rolling. Re-rolling is a luxury thing to do. Like, hold on, let me go ahead and get all three of these. Actually, these are all pretty good units. Put the Garen there. We'll put her there because I'm thinking of selling those two, so I'm gonna put them all the way in the corner. Uh, put these guys here this guy here and these two i'm thinking of selling so i'm gonna put them all the way in the corner because i'm probably gonna remove them eventually now i need to double check quickly what does a tier the goddess and a negatron cloak make tier the goddess and negatron makes a high chance of silence on hit which is pretty bad we don't want that anyway so you want to always uh prioritize leveling over re-rolling usually now the reason for that is because re-rolling is to me it's a luxury thing to do right um in general for the first half of the game you want to avoid re-rolling period you want to save gold because the way this game works it's very important is there's something called interest right the way interest works as you can see it says max five gold every for every 
increment of 10 that you have. So for instance, between 10 to 19 is plus one interest, 20 to 29 is two interest and so on. Uh, 40 to 49 is four interest, but 50 and above is five interest and it caps at that. AKA, you get that amount of extra gold per round, which is important because that obviously snowballs your economy, right? Which is everything in this game that allows you to reroll, that allows you to level up, that allows you to do everything that you would want to do in this game. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this nearly. I highly doubt I'll ever use her. I'm gonna take the double Braum as well. Now this comes through experience. I'm also gonna sell her too. So now this comes through experience as to what I'm doing here and why I'm doing it. Now I'll explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm also most likely gonna sell him eventually, but he is a pirate. So I'm still kind of hoping maybe I'll get pirates. Um, so the reason I took Braum is because one option with assassins eventually is to get Braum Leona. As you can see, she's the other guardian. You need two guardians and it gives all your units around you I forgot to put in a unit. Let's put in this guy, I guess. It gives all your units around you a bunch of extra uh, resistances, which obviously assassins aren't very tanky, naturally. So this makes them tanky. So now they have a lot of damage and a lot of tankiness. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like I said, you want to buy a lot of units at this point uh, in the game, right? Because you want to keep your options open as to what you will end up going into as the game progresses. So I'm keeping my options open. I have potential guardians here. I have this guy for potential uh, Imperial later on, if I get something, you know, later. Darius is pretty strong. Imperial is pretty strong. I have the Braum for that. I have the Kassadin in, in case I go for Voids because Void, uh, he's a Void. Kassadin's a Void. I only need one more after that. And what Void does is it makes all my basic attacks ignore 50% armor, which Assassins, of course, that's a pretty good stat because all they do is auto attack and crit and do a lot of damage. So that, you know, it kind of makes sense, right? Another option is to take the Shen here, uh, which Shen, you can get four ninjas, uh, which is also pretty good. Um, but that's kind of a greedy one to go for, in my opinion. So I don't think I'll be going for that now. I forgot what items I already have on my units. Uh, usually what you want to get here, I mean, recurve bow, BF sword, and large rod are all good options for me. So recurve bow is obviously not an option anymore because someone took it. Uh, so I'll probably go for either one of these two. Probably the Shen. Okay, never mind. No Shen and no more. Okay, wow, that's unlucky, I guess. What can I say? So in this case, we'll just take the Aatrox. And the reason we're taking Aatrox is because he's the highest valued unit along with Poppy, because you can see it's a like a blue ring. So he sells for the most. So at this point, I'm just going to take him just so I can sell him, get the item. And he's also worth the most gold, so might as well. So let's go ahead and sell this Aatrox right here. And then we'll buy the Rengar as well. I'm probably, I mean, I actually have options for pirates here. Pirate Assassin, which actually doesn't sound bad, but I'm actually getting a decent amount of Assassins, so I think I'm going to not go Pirates. I'm going to sell that uh, and actually go for the Assassins instead. So we're going to go ahead and... Mm, I don't want to pick up the Rek'Sai. Even though Rek'Sai is my last Void, I actually don't think Rek'Sai is that good of a unit. Now, I need to double check. What does... Uh, Giant's Belt Redemption, that's actually really good. I'm going to make that. I think Redemption is pretty solid. So I'm going to make that right there. The reason Redemption is pretty solid is because I put it on the Garen, he'll die first, usually. Redemption's gonna proc here, and as long as my assassins don't end, see, they can walk into it, boom, get back to full HP. And I think it's actually pretty spicy for uh, my specific comp. So, at this point, what I'm waiting for is what? I'm waiting for another Garen, just so I can get a frontline, right? Level 2, that'd be really nice. Garen's pretty spicy. Um, I can maybe replace the Garen with uh, the, what's it called? The Rek'Sai eventually. Wow, that's a triple vein. That's... That's really tempting to take. I don't think I will though. And the reason for it, I, I don't know, maybe I will. I'm gonna sell this guy and just take the triple vein. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take the triple vein. We're not gonna put it on the field yet because I, I honestly need a front line in my opinion. Um, and the Garen here with the uh, redemption, I think is really good, especially once I get one more Garen. But you can see here, I'm at 20 gold. So now I get plus two interest, right? Very important to keep in mind. I'll put this on him as well, actually, just cause. All right, so. Positioning is also very important in uh, this game mode. Now, it's a little bit hard to position properly at the very moment because there's so many people still, and I don't know who has what positioning on their battlefield. I don't know who I'm facing next, etc. So, you, have, you want to just do like a general position at the moment, but look at this redemption. Boom. Wait, that was his redemption. Never mind. He also, I didn't even realize he also had it. Yikes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Back to full HP. Beautiful. It just pretty much guarantees that I'm going to win this fight, right? Which is really nice. So now, for the pike, I'm looking for a large rod. And the reason I'm looking for a large rod is because that combines with the recurve bow into a rage blade, which is actually really, really good on a lot of units. I prefer it on someone like Zed, but it just gives them a lot of extra attack speed as they keep attacking, which is pretty spicy, right? Especially on assassins, because it just means that it increases their chance to crit over and over and over, which is obviously pretty good. Um, okay, let's see. We're looking for something to upgrade. Okay, we get the Darius, which is actually pretty good. Do I just sell the Garen at this point and maybe put the Darius instead? I think I'm going to actually go ahead and do that, but I don't want to only because I have potential nobles here, which I might end up selling, but hmm, fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's go here. Let's put this redemption on him. Let's go 
here. I want to put the units here actually like this. This is perfect, I think. They should, in theory, jump to him. So, okay, I'm gonna buy this Shen too. So the way you want to play this specific NPC round is you see these Krogs. You want to always focus this one. I put the Assassins here because they jump to the farthest unit. I'm hoping he is the farthest unit for them. Please. Please. Nice, thank god. Okay. You want to focus one Krog. The reason is because the second you kill one of them, you're gonna see the other ones get to full HP instantly. Like, watch, this one will heal up, see? Fully healed, right? So you want to be really careful with that. Um, so you want to make sure you always focus fire at the same Krug. And they're actually really strong too, so it's pretty scary stuff. Alright. So we're not taking this Warwick because the, he gives us obviously no synergies. We don't care about that. Uh, what we're looking for is to upgrade the Braum. We're looking for Leona eventually, which will be also really good for us. Uh, I forget all of these build paths. Like, it's so hard to remember them, honestly. One trick is you can actually go like this. You can do this and put it on the Warwick and see. Okay, it's a Zephyr. It's actually good. I'm going to make, make this Zephyr on someone right now. So I'm going to go here, put it on him. Boom, boom, boom. Zephyr's good. What Zephyr does is it instantly flies someone up in the air at the beginning of a round, which essentially puts the fight into your favor temporarily now. We get the full Rangar here, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to replace the Zed. I don't think the Zed is doing a whole lot at the very moment, so we're going to replace him. The Rangar is a little bit stronger than he is at the moment because he's ranked 2, right? This Zed, even though he's a ninja, I like the Pike only because the Pike has a really good ability, the stun, right? As an assassin, having a stun, wonderful. So we want that to just stun people up while my assassins just decimate their face in, right? So that's kind of the idea here. This guy's level 5, I'm level 4, I didn't level up. I'm a little bit greedy for not doing that. Um, I'm hoping it works regardless. Even if I lose, it's not a big deal because at the end of the day, HP is nothing but a resource, so it's not that bad. Oh man, my Kha'Zix actually went into it. That's not bad. Okay, the Rangar with a jump. Like I said, see, look at this, look at this. It doesn't matter. He had an extra unit and I still win. This Kha'Zix has a noble buff on him, so he's really strong. Nice. He gets a stun off. Get the stun off. Beautiful. Kha'Zix solo kill. Beautiful. Nice. All right, we don't want any of these guys, right? We don't want any of them. None of them really offer what we're looking for at the moment so we're essentially looking for assassins at this point i'm still not sure if i'm going assassin void ninja or leona braum we'll see what happens i guess but yet to remember you also want to make sure you go for comps that synergize or have units that share the comp so for instance as an example let me give you guys one i'll take the cannon as well so one option right now i have is ninjas i have three ninjas so ninjas is actually looking like a very, very plausible comp for me to go. I'm gonna go with the, put the vein in here just for now. Uh, it's a very plausible comp. And the reason for that is because I have three ninjas, right? There's four total. The last one I'm looking for, I believe, is a Kali. We have Kennen, we have Zed, we have Shen. Now, if I have one ninja on the field, it gets 40% AD. If I have two or three, it reduces, it removes the ninja buff entirely. But if I have four, all ninjas have 80% AD. And the good thing about ninjas for assassins is two of the four ninjas are also assassins which works with the assassin comp because you share units. If you have a comp that doesn't share units, it's pretty much not gonna work almost always. And the reason for that is because it just requires you to have too many units on the field to do anything useful. So you want comps that share units between each other. Like I said with assassin and ninja, two of the assassins are ninjas. So it makes it easier to have the comp finished on the board ASAP that much you know, easier, which is really, really important. Um, so we're looking for a Kali essentially at this point. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Get the cannon here. We have the vein, but we don't want the vein. We don't want any of these units, and I'm not gonna use my gold yet. And the reason for that is because I don't really need to. We're at 100 HP. We haven't lost yet to anyone. Uh, my assassins are destroying them. The Darius is tanking. He has a Zephyr, knocks someone up in the air, so it makes a you know a little bit of a favorable fight for just a tad. Uh, the redemption when he finally does die heals my assassins. Hopefully, as long as they're inside of it and not inting, right? The vein is just chilling, being vain for now. She's a very temporary unit. I am gonna sell her eventually, but because she's a two star and she's really strong. Might as well put her on the field for now, right? This guy is level 5 and level 5, so this will be a pretty close fight, actually. But I think I should win it. The Fiora is a really bad unit, so she's just going to die. He has no nobles. See, watch. Even the Darius dies here, no problem. Kha'Zix, live, live. Ah, I'm so sad he didn't actually live. The Redemption didn't heal him just in time. Ooh, the Gnar. Jesus. Oh my god, that Mordekaiser. Okay. Alright, so. I'm probably going to start looking to sell... The Cassidans very soon. I don't think I'll be going for a Void, because if you think about it, let's do the math, right? So, I need six Assassins. Two of those Assassins are Ninjas. So that right there is going to be um, six, seven, eight units on the field for a full comp, right? Hold on, what do I want here? We want the Evelyn here is what we want. We want Evelyn? Oh, we want the Kali. We really want the Kali. That'll be four Ninjas. If I can get the Kali here, that's going to be really fucking nice. I hope no one he's gonna take it. Fuck, I'm so sad. Okay, I'll take the Evelyn then. Uh, I have a level 2 Rengar. I'll take the Evelyn just so I can get more assassins in general. Please, okay, thank god. I get the Evelyn. I guess it's not horrible. I'll take it. 
a Kali would have been ideal because then I would have had the full set of ninjas, right? So again, four ninjas in the uh, six, uh, four ninjas on the field, two of which are assassins. So you subtract that from the assassin comp by two. So and overall, you need uh, not that many units, which is good. Um, so where is my Evelyn? She's on the field. So there's a little bit of a bug. I don't know if they fixed it yet, but if I have the field units like this right here, it actually will work like this, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably start selling the Brom. No, I'll sell the Cassidy. Let's go ahead and just do this. Fuck it. I actually messed up. I shouldn't have done that. I could have had the glitch happen to me. I'm actually gonna also level up, and the reason I'm leveling up is because I am very close to the completion of my comp, and I need extra space on the board because you can only have as many units on the field as you have. Uh, as your character level. This guy's also going... Oh no, he has... Wait, what? Oh, he has Imperial with the, with the Katarina. That's pretty strong, actually. Heal, baby, heal! Hey! I think I lose this one, though. Maybe? I don't know. Assassin's might... Wait, he has a level 3 Warwick. Yeah, I definitely lose this one, JK. Jesus, he's strong. What the hell? He's really strong. Damn, I don't get my... Hmm, okay, that's really unfortunate, actually. I don't really get my upgrade to level... Or to 50 gold, because I, now I lose the interest of being at 50 gold, right? Which is not ideal whatsoever. And we get the Katarina, which is good. She's an Imperial. Imperial plus Darius. Very spicy. So we're going to put her in there. So now what Imperial does is you only need two for the first one. But you get one of your random Imperials, aka the Darius or the Katarina, does double damage. Obviously for Katarina, especially if I get her to level two. Especially if I get six Assassins and she's suddenly critting for 350% extra critical damage. Well, that's going to hurt if it's double damage, right? So that's going to be really nice for me. So I'm kind of hoping for that as well. So we get the cannon upgraded here, which is going to be also quite juicy. So I'm going to replace him with uh, the pike. Because the pike is still level 1. We're not getting any pikes. A little bit unlucky. So the cannon might be a little bit more useful here. He is the only ninja as well, so I think it should be fine. Again, I'm still holding on to the brawn because I think I'd be able to... If it, if it gets to like super, super late game, I, it should be able to fit into the comp, right? Because I'll have 6 assassins on the field. Wait. Nice, I think we win this one. The cannon ult, ooh, yeah. Okay, nice, very nice. So we're gonna slowly accumulate our gold. Where this tier of the goddess is just chilling here, but we're looking for this NPC round coming up right now, and hopefully it'll give us something useful. Take that, take that, and we also want the Shen, so we're gonna look to sell this Kha'Zix and take the Shen here as well. Go ahead and rearrange our units here, so it's a little bit more organized. And then we'll do one reroll, we'll take the level two Shen. Bring back the vein. we don't need her. Wait, what does she give me? I think she doesn't give me shit. Okay, so that's the vein is pretty useless here. So we'll put in the Shen instead. We have two ninjas on the field, which kind of sucks, but I think it's fine. Eh, no, we'll put in the vein again. Never mind. I don't want two ninjas on the field because it actually lowers the damage of cannon because he, he loses the ninja buff, right? The 40% AD completely gone if I put him on. So I'd be better to not actually do that for now. At this point, what we're looking for is Akali. Like, we just really need Akali and I need levels so I can instantly level up the second I get the Akali. So we have Tear the Goddess and Negatron, which is a bad item. It doesn't upgrade into a good item. It upgrades into an item that has a high chance to silence on hit, which is kind of mediocre in my opinion. Definitely not what we're looking for. Um, let's go ahead and put in the Evelyn now instead. Katarina is still a good unit because it gives Darius the potential uh, buff, right, with the Imperial or Katarina. doesn't matter who gets it, but we got the Kali. Nice. Beautiful. That's kind of the comp we're looking for. So now the idea is, well, we want to get all of these units on the field. Right, so how many assassins? We have four assassins on the field. If I put in if I put in the Pike, or if I, sorry, if I put in uh, the Zed and the Akali, and the Shen, that's six assassins, four ninjas. So we want to start looking towards levels at this point. Even if I lose some of these rounds, I don't care too much. All I want to do is level up. Put in my ninjas, and they'll be really strong. So this is a scenario where, instead of re-rolling, you want to focus on the leveling and not be greedy with the re-rolls. Even though you really want them, you really want the Zed, you know, upgraded, you really want more Akalis, you really want more of any, all those units. But you can't greet it up too hard. You have to be very careful with that, I guess you can say. Yeah, see, none of these units are what we need. So what we're going to do is put some points into the levels and leave it above 50 gold. We're, our HP is at 87. We can afford to lose some rounds. We're not worried about that whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as is. We're going to maintain the plus 5 interest just for the sole purpose of it snowballs a little bit more. And then when I really, really need to just turn online, I can use the gold right away. Right? At this point, I'm not really in a full, full rush. Like, I am a little bit in a rush, but not in like a, my god, I, I really need to level up right now kind of rush, because I'm not on the verge of losing, right? We still have a lot of time, even if we lose a bunch of rounds, which is which is good, obviously. I'm most likely going to end up selling this vein, 
Uh, probably right now, even. I I definitely don't need her, so with that, put another level in. Kennel coming out, nice little stun. Evelyn will combining it together, beautiful. So we have level 2 Shen. So we just killed this guy, actually. He's out. Sorry, man. Apologies, summoner. Uh, so none of these are assassins. Uh, the Draven is actually a really good pick here. I actually might pick him up just because I might not actually go Leon or Braum. Maybe we'll throw in the Draven as my like final, final unit for like triple Imperial. Could be good. I don't know. Maybe not. But I'm kind of giving up on the Braum Leona here. So I'm going to sell one of the Braums just for 50 gold. And I, maybe we won't go with that, actually. Now, I've never actually done four, full Assassin Ninja comp. So I'm actually kind of curious how good it even is because I don't really know personally. Go ahead and level up, of course. This gives us opportunities to put in more assassins. So in this case, we're going to put him in. Mm, we can always take out her for now, maybe. And then put in like Zed, right? And then we have one more ninja that we need, which could be someone like Akali. I could do that technically. Four assassins, three ninjas, which doesn't sound bad. I want to try one round of this and see how it goes. I hope it's good. I don't know if it's good. We're, we're, I'm pretty much testing it at the very moment as you guys are watching it. So you guys... Ooh, this guy's pretty decently strong. He has Imperial buff and he has a level 3 Darius, which is pretty scary, actually. But luckily I'm Assassin, so I can just go to the backline and kill all his units, including his Dar Draven, which is good. This redemption's gonna be massive. Oh, baby, everyone's a full HP. Yeah, look at the... Look how much damage I'm doing. Like, I, did I even lose a unit? I mean, one... Two, three, four, five, six. I lost only one unit in that fight. And I have a bunch of level ones on the field, right? Level one Akali, level one Zed. I just threw them in there because, well, it's assassins and ninjas. Um, so eventually, I kind of want to remove the Darius, maybe. Shen will be more frontline. I'll keep the Darius on the bench temporarily. Um, let me see. Kennen is looking okay here. Darius is looking okay here. Swain is looking actually really good here. I think I'm going to take the Swain. And then maybe I'll use the Swain instead of Draven. Um... Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm hoping no one takes him, but I'm like last pick because I'm at the very top. So if no one takes Swain, I'll take the Swain. This guy might take it. Um, I guess I'll go for this. Draven would have been good too. I'm going for this because I think I have an item that can combine with this, I hope. The Yasuo. The Yasuo is also a good champ, but we don't need him. It doesn't fit into our comp whatsoever, so uh, let's go ahead and sell the Shen. Do we want to sell the Shen? No, we don't want to sell the Shen. Not yet. What is this built into? Luden's Echo and Ionic Spark. Questionable items, honestly. So in this case, I'm also focusing on levels. Again, we're really strong. We're not in a rush. We can focus on levels. At this point, I want to make sure I get out all my units. Because I have so many units, so many important ones that I can get massive synergies with, right? I still need to get two more assassins on the field. So I want the levels for those two assassins, obviously. Eventually, I might take out the Darius temporarily just for the sake of having six assassins on the field with four ninjas. And then when I level up, I'll put the Darius back in with like Draven or something like that. I don't know. But we'll see. Maybe not. But at this point, my biggest goal is to get six assassins on the field just because it'll just do so much damage. And since I'm so ahead of everyone else because I have uh, the win streak cons consistently giving me plus two gold, you can see here. I'll do so much damage that even though I'm technically all squishy except for Shen, it doesn't matter because I'm just doing so much damage that no one can really survive fast enough. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so these are not really units we're looking for. I don't really want this cannon. I have a level 2 cannon. I don't think I'll ever get a level 3 cannon. I, I'm, 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 I don't think I will. That's just my kind of guess at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep leveling. And I'm not going to go under 50 gold yet again because, well, I want the 5 gold. That's a lot of gold. Uh, if I drop a level 50, I can level up, but then I'll get only plus 4 gold, which again, we're not in a rush, we're chilling, right? I might give this to Darius just because he can... Eh. That gives me a bad item. Yeah, that's a really bad item still, man. I need, I need better items, man. Let's see, let's see. I might end up selling the Shen just for the Need to See Large Rod. What is that built into? Need to See Large Rod plus... The Tear of the Goddess builds into Ludens Echo, and then I said this one builds into Ionic Spark. Both are questionable items as well. Not really what we want to see, I'll be honest. Damn, I actually lose against this guy. This guy's pretty strong. The issue there was the fact that he's going Assassins. So in other words, my Darius actually didn't get focused down first, so he never got off his redemption, and that ended up costing me a little bit there. Um, it's okay, though. We need ninjas, man. I'm not getting any ninjas. I'll get the Draven. Sure. But we're not getting ninjas. Oof. I can't. I can't greet it up. I have to. Mm, we can't greet it, boys. We can't greet it. I might sell this Braum, though. I, I this rate, I don't think that's just going to happen at all. It's just to be about 50 gold. This is an NPC round anyways. Doesn't matter. We're chilling. Hoping for good items here, though. 
Hopefully some... If I get a recurve bow, I'm selling the Shen for that because I can put that recurve bow plus this large rod on one of my backline units, like one of my strong assassins. And that makes uh, the Rage Blade, which is what we want, which will just give them a lot of more consistent damage, which is going to be really good. Don't forget, though, at the end of every single round, you get plus two experience. So I will automatically level up to level uh, eight at the end of this round. Ooh, a spatula, though. Okay. What do I need? Spatula plus BF sword actually makes an assassin. So that's something that I'll... I really want that. If I get a BF sword here, that'll be really good. BF sword, BF sword, BF sword. BF sword, BF sword. Ah, oh, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. This is actually really good, though. I will give this to someone. Um... Go to the Rengar. Chance to disarm. Spatula plus that makes me a demon. Well, we don't need to be a demon. So right now I'm looking for a BF sword. BF sword plus spatula makes one of these units an assassin. In this case, I'll probably make someone like Darius or something. Maybe even the Draven late game, an assassin. Um, go ahead and put him on the field for more assassins. Right now we have a lot of assassins. I can always replace... No one really, actually. Never mind. Go ahead and get the cannon this time, I guess. Buy two experience. We need one more assassin on the field. Or six assassins, four ninjas, which will be super, super good for us. This is where I'm going to start potentially getting a little bit desperate, though, with levels. Because you can see, like, because I have no six assassins, they're slowly starting to get a little bit outscaled. Um, because they're not doing the damage they should be doing, technically, you know what I mean? Um, so, this is where we're going to slowly start getting greedy. But on this round, I'm just going to pray that I get the item that we need, which is going to be the BF sword. So I'm going to level up again. Man, that's a, so either I get a BF sword or I get another spatula. Because if I get two spatulas, you can put it on a unit and that gives them an item that makes that specific unit not count towards your limits, which is really good. I can actually replace his Darius and put on Pike for six assassins. Let's try it, honestly. Let's just see what happens. Maybe it's good. Maybe. At this point, I actually think I want double spatula. Only because I actually want to increase the level cap of my uh, thing so I can have an extra unit on the field so I can have the Draven plus Darius or something. If I don't, that's fine. I'll still have the Katarina for the Imperial, which will also be good. Uh, nice cannon stun. Yeah, I can see the damage is super, super high. Look at that. The redemption of the full heal. Beautiful. Wait, what? They didn't heal anyone. What? I got trolled by redemption so hard. Wait, what? My redemption didn't heal anybody. Huh? I'm selling Dragon, by the way. I don't. I just realized I don't actually need him. Katarina doesn't be my Imperial the Darius by level 9. Oh, uh, okay. We're, we're getting a little bit rng here, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not getting... There we go, got the pike, finally, thank god. Um, go ahead and level up. Level ups are really important here for us. The next round, this this round right here with the carousel thing, is gonna be super important. Um, oh, that was his redemption, what am I saying? I'm stupid, I forgot my Darius had it. Yeah, this next level is gonna be super important. I need to get the Darius back on the field, but... I can't really remove anyone, like, I want the six assassins on the field. I think. Either way, once I get to the next level, that issue is gone. You know, I'm probably gonna put the Katarina on instead of the Pike. Put the Darius back on, and then we'll be pretty good to go. So, I'm pretty desperate for that level at the point at this moment. Nice, good cannon stun. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, please, 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 kill the Nar, kill the Nar. Level three Nidalee. That's pretty spooky. But we have assassins. A lot of damage should out. Damage her heal? Thank God, Jesus. Oh, we kill him too. Woo. All right, this is a big round for us. We need a spatula or a BF sword. Just give me one of them. I'll take that one just in case. Fuck it, whatever. Spatula? Two spatulas? Only one spatula. If someone takes that spatula, I'm sad. If no one takes that spatula. I mean, again, the BF sword, also a good option. Yeah, he's taking the spatula. Okay, we'll take the BF sword from the Ash. We need the BF sword. Beautiful. Nice. So BF Sword plus Spatula, again, it pretty much makes whatever unit I put that item on an Assassin on top of the other classes that they currently are. So that's going to be really good for us. So we're going to put it on someone that's not an Assassin. Uh, in this case, we can put it on Kennen or we can put it on the Shen. In this case, I think Kennen is better. Um, where is my BF Sword? There is. So we'll put it on the Kennen. He's not an Assassin. Yeah, he's not an Assassin. So we'll put it on Kennen. Ooh, now he's an Assassin. Now I can actually remove this and put Darius on the field because we still have six Assassins, which is perfect. Uh, we don't want any of these units. I still want to go ahead and level, but I do want... I can afford some rerolls here to be a little bit greedier. Okay, we'll level up. 
But because I, I still really want the level up, um, because I want the Katarina on the field for the Imperial bonus, right? With the Katarina and the Darius. Okay, so I'm, I realized one mistake by my comp right here. Nice, Redemption heal, Redemption heal. Oh, nice, the Evelyn. No, I still lose. Yo, it's the same guy. I always lose to his Warwick, man. Every time. I want to put this tier of the Goddess on somebody just so they can get their ult faster. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Darius right up here like this. Beautiful. All right, uh, let's go ahead and give. We're still sitting at level one Zed, which is super unfortunate too. Frozen Heart. That actually doesn't sound that bad, honestly. I want to do it. Fuck it. Put that there. Let's go ahead and level up. I'm actually just gonna straight up level here. I don't care. I want Katarina on the field for the Imperial bonus. We could get the Kha'Zix. We're not gonna get level two Kha'Zix, so there's no point in even trying for that. Don't really want any of these either. I mean, I guess we'll take it at this point. Fuck it. But we're getting a little bit unfortunate here. We're not getting the Pike. We're not getting another Kali. We're not getting another Zed. So my Zed is still level one, which is really, really bad. The fact that I'm still like doing as well as I am is pretty impressive. Yeah, this guy's really strong. Is he strong enough? Well, that's the question. It's a close fight. I think I lose, though. Yeah, I lose. It's really close, though. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. We need a Zed so badly. We have no idea. Holy... This is where I'm going to start looking for rerolls. I'll take that swing, man. I will take that swing. Please, I beg you, just give me an upgrade for the Zed, please. Kali is good. We'll sell the Shen for the Kali. I'll give it to Katarina in hopes that, fingers crossed, you can get her ult off and do a lot of damage. So in this case, what we're looking for was looking for another Kali. We're looking for Katarina's as well. And the round is about to start. Assassins, go! Seven assassins. Assassins are actually really bad against this unit. Because oh, the dragon is really tanky, but it does AoE damage. Assassins are obviously not very tanky. Okay. Not what we need. Okay, Katarina, Ionic Spark. Horrible item. Definitely don't want that on her. I'm going to be greedy here and reroll. Very greedy, but... Got the Swain and the Evelyn. It's actually not too bad. Um, okay, let's see how do we do this. This I can't remove the Zed. Like, I need the Zed on the field, though. That's the sad part. I want to take out Katarina. I don't think she's doing anything right now, unfortunately. Like, it, I have to, I still have two Imperials on the field, being the Swain now, uh, which is fine, I think. Because Swain is just a really good unit, so I'm hoping that's going to do something nice. I should have put the Swain right there, actually, though. Let's see what happens. The second Swain ults, he should be really, really strong, though. Nice, the Darius had a fat heal there. I should destroy this guy now. Yeah, look at that. Woo, baby. Much better. The Redemption heal coming in. Hey, everyone's full HP. I lost, I think, no units whatsoever. I am going to swap the Swain's position, though. And I'm also going to go ahead and sell this cannon. So I can be above 20 gold. This pike is probably going to be useless. I most likely am going to sell this pike here. I don't think I need him. But we'll keep him for now. Maybe if I get a level 2 pike, I'll switch him out for another assassin. That's just not as good as pike. It's very possible. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the Swain over here. He takes too long to get into the fight. You want him to be in the fight sooner because as they attack and take damage, they uh, increase their mana. And Swain's ultimate is unbelievably powerful. Um, so that's really good for us if we can get that out sooner than later. Go ahead and reroll. Uh, looking for the Akali. Nice. Beautiful. Now we have a level to Akali as well, which is perfect. Perfection. So we have six assassins, four ninjas, two demons, by the way, right? We have the Evelyn and the Swain. Uh, which reduces mana, or a chance to reduce their mana, and do damage with the mana reduction. This is a guy I always lose. Okay, I need to pay attention to this. I always lose to this guy. I don't know what it is, but I just do. Good heal by the Darius. My goal is just to have him tank as long as possible. The redemption comes out. The Swain pops as well. Look at that. Like, I'm just unbelievably powerful. I have so much damage. I have the double Imperial. The Swain pops as well. He's super strong. I have the demons just in there, just because why not, you know? And it's working out very well. So at this point, our comp is essentially done. All we're looking for is going to be just the upgrade units that we already have on the field. Uh, mainly the Zet. He is still level 1. I'm not going to lie, a little bit unlucky. We really want the Zet upgraded here, but I, at this rate, I'm kind of highly doubting it's going to happen. Um, so we'll pick up the cannon, just because. Nice. Thank you, Rai Games. Good choice there. Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep it as is for now. 
The level one Zed. We can't take him out, because watch, if I take him out, I lose the ninja buff. That's really bad. That's not an option. We can't do that whatsoever. So, we're, we're kind of happy with what we have right now, I think. Um, and again, the cannon is doing a lot of extra damage. At this point, I kind of wish I had it on the Swain instead, but... I don't even know who that was. Is that Garen there? He just literally died instantly. Redemption coming in? Hey, back to full HP. Oh yeah, and the second the cannon pops his ult, he stuns everyone. It gives Swain more time, and the second Swain pops his ult too, he's just super strong. So, it's looking pretty good, boys. I think we're gonna win this one. So yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys had a good kind of idea as to how to play this game, and hopefully this video helps you out one way or another, honestly. Um, I forgot what items I'm looking for. At this point, I don't think it even matters. I'm just that strong. I guess we'll take the recurve bow. I don't really think it matters what I take here. I, I should just be really strong and just win regardless. So I'm gonna go sell that Leona. Um, what does recurve bow plus that make again? It makes chance to shrink. You know what? We'll do it, man. We'll do it. We'll give it to the Rengar. Chance to shrink. Fuck it. And this is where we just start rerolling hard because the round is gonna be over very soon. So you want to just use your gold. No point in wasting gold. Um, Evelyn's good. Cannon, no point. We're not getting the cannon upgraded. I mean, now I kind of wish I took it. Okay, whatever. Let's see what happens. It just comes down to the wire now. I, I'm, I'm, I don't even know. Is it even possible for me to get a Zed? I'm not even sure, honestly. Oh, he? He's actually doing quite well. But my Swain ulted. It doesn't matter. My, the second Swain ults, man, I'm telling you, it's just... It's so broken. Especially if he gets the Imperial buff, where he does double damage. Because don't forget, him and Darius are Imperials, right? It's just so strong, man. It's it's unbelievably powerful. Get another Evelyn here. One more Evelyn, and we get a three-star Evelyn. So we're just going to spam rerolls, uh, hoping for that. The Pike, useless. We don't need him. Finally got the Zed, thank God. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Looking for Evelyn here. I'm just going to spam all the rerolls. Got the Evelyn. Three-star Evelyn. Boom, baby. Hey. Now she's super, super strong. That's my first three-star. I'm actually doing this well without a single three-star up until this point. Which in itself, in my opinion, is pretty impressive. Um, don't need any of these units. At this point, we just, I'm assuming, win. I assume we win now. I mean, we're literally stronger than we were than we just faced them. Maybe he upgraded too. He's repositioning his units pretty hard, though, you can tell. This Katarina is in the back line attacking my Swain, which is good for me, because that makes my Swain upgrade faster. You can see whenever he does damage. Yeah, that's it. I think he just dies here. He's dead? Yeah, he's dead. GG. Yeah, there you guys have it. First place as well. That's kind of a rough idea of how to play this game, right? Things to remember, things to pay attention to. Again, TLDR. Buy a lot of units early game. The first like five, six, seven, eight rounds, just keep buying units over and over and over and over and over and over, right? You want to keep buying units because you want to keep your options open as to what you may potentially uh, spec into uh, with your comp. Very important stuff, right? And then eventually you sell them once you realize the units you don't need. Sell them, get your gold back. You lose pretty much nothing. And then after that, you want to start accumulating gold up to 50 as fast as you can, if possible, while still, of course, buying units that you just need for your comp that you decided to go. Um, you want to make sure you always remember what items to build. There are just some really game-breaking items that you have to build uh and yeah as you play the game you kind of get more used to it it comes with a lot of experience just to kind of understand what comps are good you know what units to get which comps synergize the best etc so in this case again four ninjas six assassins well i had seven assassins i think because one of my units had the uh, item that made them an assassin the cannon and two imperials being swain and uh, darius which are very good units darius is very strong early and uh yeah just essentially just try to save gold and don't re-roll until you are just at a position where you're either really desperate because you're about to die or something, so you want to reroll old love or level up. But uh, yeah, reroll is like the last option, you know? That's like the last thing you want to do. But if you're over 50 gold, spend your gold down to 50 gold or close to it while maintaining above it if possible. And yeah, it comes down to experience, boys and girls, but hopefully this video gave you a good idea as to what to do and what to look for and how to play and how to catch you, get you started in the game overall. But yeah, either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, of course, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Peace.